What's up guys, Emily coming at you today with a GT Sport video. So this race was probably the funnest race I've ever been in. A uh, super epic battle right up until the very end. Uh, setting out to do the impossible, which is to win uh, Group 4 in the Aston Martin. Set a really good qualifying time, qualifies second. Uh, so just right behind Jim here. Uh, Jim definitely was the, the best driver. Um, in this race. Now it was a pretty clean race, but you know, every one of these races always has that one douchebag. And uh, said douchebag in this race is actually the guy in the Porsche right behind me. Uh, it's a pretty dirty move up into turn two, which probably costs uh, Jim the win here in this race, to be honest. So coming into turn one, I'm just trying to, I'm just, my, my whole goal for this race was to just drive as, as uh, cleanly as possible and hope that somebody just makes a mistake and can kind of capitalize on that. So you're going to see I just get shoved right into Jim's ass end here. I'm, I'm hard on the brakes right now. Nothing I can do. Guy behind me just punts me right into Jim. Uh, real dick move, but I felt horrible because I know Jim probably thought that it was just me from his perspective. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what happens. <laughs> Uh, then it's just kind of a battle for uh, top five here. And uh, we're, go we're going into the third turn. You can see there's a Viper and a Corvette uh, right behind me. Now, those people, those guys are actually really close. Uh, the the rear view mirror makes them look like they're a lot further than they actually are. Uh, so, th so they are just like right on my ass. Everybody's pretty much bunched up right now. Now you can actually get through here without having to brake, but you gotta come into it just right. So I probably slowed down more than I actually needed to, and I gave uh, the Dodge Viper that's behind me a chance to pass me here on the inside. A little bit of contact there, I wasn't sure if he was uh, going for the overtake, and the Corvette trying to go around the outside, but it looks like we all pretty much settle back into our racing lines here. Now we're gonna be coming up into the Chelan and uh, then the final turn. Now this is uh, eight laps and I think it has tire and fuel consumption like up to ten or up to nine. So here's Jim. Now he's coming up hard on my ass. I figured for sure he was gonna just spin me out up here. Get some revenge. He does pretty much cut me off of the road but he gets past me. I slow down. I was hoping that he would just go past and uh, not try and take me out uh, for what happened earlier. Now you'll end up seeing the guy, the Porsche guy pretty much when he finishes the race. He's like a 18 second penalty, so um, not a very clean driver. Get uh, passed by the Corvette there. Try to turn onto the inside, but didn't quite make it. End up actually ghosting through that guy. So down to fifth place at this point. Not looking very good. I wasn't sure. I, I just tried to race clean. I wasn't ex expecting really to, to win this race. Just try to race as a, a clean and well as I can. Just because one mistake, especially in the Aston Martin, one mistake and you know it's, it's pretty much over. So just let the leaders battle it out and uh, take advantage of those opportunities when we can. So Porsche still in the lead at this point. So. Coming up into this hairpin turn up here, I've noticed that it claims a lot of victims here at Nürburgring, and uh, this is one of my favorite tracks since I've been playing Gran Turismo. Um, I've, I pretty much grew up with Gran Turismo. I mean, Gran Turismo and Ace Combat are, are pretty much my childhood in a nutshell since I wasn't really allowed to play uh, anything else. So this is not, I would say this is not my favorite Gran Turismo game. It's probably one of my least favorite to be honest. Uh, that's, why, that's why I'm just renting it at the moment, but um, I, this is definitely one of my favorite tracks. So, one of my favorite tracks and one of my favorite cars. It's just not a very good setup uh, for competitive online if you really want to win. <laughs> but we'll try it. We'll get it, we'll get it done here. We'll get it done. So we've got a pretty good gap, a uh, three seconds of breathing space uh, to six. And we, we're doing a pretty good job at keeping up with these guys. Going through the Chelan here and uh, getting ready to wrap up lap two. Um, there, there's a battle going on right now for second with Jim and the Viper. 
But as you can see, I can't quite get the slipstream on these guys. They're just they're just too fast for me. Uh, but coming up here into the first turn on lap three, um, you're going to see Douchebag. He's actually going to fuck himself over, which is good. He's going to try and shove the Corvette and uh, ends up getting himself put back uh, at the beginning of that turn. So this gets us into third position. A little bit nervous having the Porsche behind me, obviously, because I don't want him to, you know, come over and, and shunt me uh, straight into the wall. So really just trying to keep up with first and second. And you can see the guy behind me, he goes off the road. So we get a little bit more uh, space, uh, just a little bit over a one second between us and fourth now. And really hoping that these two guys, first and second, hoping that they just battle it out and I can take advantage of uh, some opportunity here to get into the lead. It's only lap three, so it's still pretty early in the race. Uh, coming into the hairpin again, we'll see if uh, anybody messes up here, <laughs> but it looks like they don't. You really got to take it as wide as you can, take a full advantage of the track. Uh, but people just go into there super fast and they end up out into the dirt uh, as cones are flying. You can see these guys, they're right next to each other. I think that the Viper is going to get the overtake up here. Yeah, okay, so Jim gets past. Uh, Jim slows down quite a bit. And it goes off the road a little bit. We're, we're right behind him. Might be close enough for the slipstream. But he's, he's pulling away just a little bit. We've got uh, two seconds between us and fourth right now. So we've got a little bit of breathing room. Coming into the Chelan here. I'm, I, I slow down way more than I needed to. I just really don't want to ram into Jim again after what happened earlier. So I'm just trying to be really careful around him. And uh, alright, so we're wrapping up lap three. You can see they're really battling it out. The Viper, you can definitely tell the Viper's feeling the pressure. He's really swerving around. And looks like Jim's going for the inside. Probably got a little bit of a slipstream boost there. Let's see how they handle this uh, turn one. It could be a doozy. I usually always break early, uh, which usually leads to me getting slammed from behind, but pretty good. Don't like seeing that Porsche right behind me, but just trying to focus on driving a clean, clean race. Keep these guys in my sights, try and reel them in a little bit. Still feeling pretty good about my position. Um, the race is only half over. Top three. At this point, I'm thinking, you know, top three would be amazing. I would definitely settle for a top three win, especially in the Aston Martin. The bright pink Aston Martin. A Viper going quite a bit wide onto the outside, taking full advantage of the track limits there, for sure. Alright, coming into the hairpin here on lap four. Viper going wide again, but everybody makes it safely through there. There is quite a big gap now between fourth and fifth, and it looks like uh, looks like the Viper is pulling away a little bit. But I feel like we're doing pretty good. There goes Jim taking that quite wide. Almost into the dirt there. I th I'm not sure if he got a penalty. I think he kept it on the track. So here goes Jim for the pit stop. I was pretty surprised by that. Um, I guess he must have had his fuel consumption like set to power or something. Um, or his tires were really fucked, I don't know. Um, so yeah, Jim going for the pit. Pretty unexpected. But that bumps us up into second place. So, lap 5 of 8. Just need to reel on this Viper. Just keep on his tail. Put the pressure on him. The man, the pressure when you're in first is really palpable. Um, if you can just keep the pressure on them, they're bound to make a mistake. Uh, really hard to do though when you can't even get the slipstream. 
just that little bit underpowered and he just keeps he's got about a two second gap that he's able to pretty much maintain so at this point it's just you gotta drive as cleanly and um, just really 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 stick to those lines and hope that the pressure eventually gets to him and that he makes a mistake so we will see him end up making a mistake up here but at this point I wasn't sure I just wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to actually reel him in it was still quite a few laps to go uh, making it through the hairpin a-okay we've got a still two seconds now to third so it's pretty much an even gap between first second third but look at him he goes off the road there huge mistake uh puts us right into first place now's when the pressure is really on <laughs> just like you just don't fuck up like don't do what everybody else has done up until this point just don't fuck up drive as cleanly as possible and just hope that there's going to be battle now behind us for second and third. Hope that that takes up some of their time. And we can get a pretty good lead. Now it looks like I'm just like, bam, way out ahead. But I'm actually not. I'm not even two seconds. or so 1.5 seconds uh, going into the Chalant. We pretty much wrap up lap five. You can see them uh, coming up behind me pretty fast. We got a two second lead now. Going into the final turn here. And we'll have to get as good of a run as we can on these straights since we do kind of lack uh, the power. As you can see, I'm taking a look behind me. Because they are actually a lot closer than they appear in the rearview mirror. So I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit of the tire wear at this point. Really, it's the uh, front left tire. And nothing really eventful happens between laps 6 and 7. I just I stay in the lead and just hold these guys off pretty much like that so I'm gonna cut to the final lap so here we are about to cross the line and go into the final lap now I've had a pretty consistent 1.5 to 2.5 second lead for the last two laps but really starting to feel uh, the tire wear on that front left uh, especially coming into this turn I, I almost lost it on uh, lap 7 so taking it easy and then out of nowhere here comes Jim behind me now I'm a little confused at this point because he's not showing up in the rankings uh, like what position he is on the side so I'm I guess I'm just guessing that he's a lap down but I don't know how he would have gotten a whole lap down and been able to catch up that fast um, from the pit stop so I wasn't really sure what was happening now I end up finding out that it says that he's 15th on his position, but he actually is in second place right now, guys. So I was pretty nervous because I knew there was no way he could be a whole lap down and be catching up to me that fast. So I'm just racing like assuming he's in second place right now, which he ended up being in second place unless, I mean, I don't know how it actually works, but here he is trying to pass me and I pretty much just let him pass me because I know he's faster. So I stick to the outside. Let him go past me, and so you can see that he's in 15th place right now. Um, I mean, he's actually in first, so I was a little confused, but I was just like, okay, well, we'll settle for uh, second place, and just we'll just I'll just drive like I'm in first place, and hope that it's actually right that he's in 15th. So he goes out a little bit wide there. I'm assuming he's on fresh tires and a full tank of gas down too, so there's pretty much no way that we're going to be able to uh, catch up to him. But we're pretty much coming up on the the end here. We've got a three second lead uh, to second, so feeling pretty good. Uh, we're just going to come in. I'm thinking, I, I'm not sure, like at this point, it's like a coin toss. I don't know what, am I in first place? Am I in second place? Um, turns out I actually am in second place right now, but you'll see what happens when I go across the finish line. Uh, how we just barely, barely were able to get this win. So you can see him slow down right there, and then we cross the finish line. And he had a penalty. He must have had a three second penalty. So because of that penalty, we get first place. Just barely pulling off a win for the Aston Martin. So of course, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will talk with you guys later.